Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on Hunter Call of Wild, we're taking a look at the brand new DLC, the Bloodhound DLC, and we've also got Black Book True Max. So we're going to go over all the updates, the bug fixes, the patch notes, and see what's going on in this new update. And it's across the whole platform, PC, PS4, Xbox One, all at the same time. So let's have a look at some of these fixes. For a start, reworked animal simulation mode, which should fix issues with animals not showing on time at need zones and not dropping clues, while it also improving performance. That is massive. That is massive. I can't wait to test that on whitetails especially. Anyone who's after a great one, that is massive. And if whitetail are turning up at the actual drink zones now, that's a big game changer. A lot of us have been on about that for quite a while. So that is a really big fix. Alexander traditional longbow Silverbridge Peaks can now be used to complete several bow hunting missions in Leighton Lake and Hirschfeld. They fixed several issues resulting in animals falling out of sync between players in multiplayer games. Fixed an issue with the Trophy Lodge multiplayer where a guest would spawn in an empty lot. On PC, the animal ranking leaderboards will not be empty anymore. Fixed certain cases where the game was shut down due to becoming disconnected from Steam service. So that's quite a big fix as well. So they're really good bug fixes. Let's have a look at some of the other things, shall we? Let's take a look at these additional updates. We've got animals environment first. We've got fixed turkeys so that they properly flee when spooked. Fixed invisible horn on the big horn sheep on very low scoring set of horns. We've got red fox feeding need zones no longer show up right next to European rabbit burrows. Tweak several side missions for voilas arc, I think it's pronounced on Leighton Lake, so that they no longer so hard to complete. Revise the number of coaters on Sheila Lake to complete a mission. Walking through shallow water won't be too loud anymore. Weapons, gear and character. Fixed rangefinder, bow sight, the high tech hunting pack uh, DLC so that it shows distance to target and yards when using Imperial unit system. For the user interface and multiplayer, we've got fixes and issue with human tracks related to various missions where you, know, where you need to spot the feet would show a random animal uh, icon in the tracking hall. Um, fixed an issue with mounting weapons on gun racks during multiplayer session would prevent players from entering their trophy lodge again. So there's quite a few fixes there. It fixed an exploit that allowed you to harvest the same animal multiple times on a severe network lag. Fixed an issue with the confirmation prompt which would remain on the screen after closing the store and could result in buying the wrong item. Fixed an issue with the HEB prompt showing for all players in the multiplayer game. Hunter Mate will not show black screen now when the user fast travels between outposts in Tiwara National Park Reserve. Fixed issues that made it impossible to jump or go prone after fast traveling from a tree stand. Various other crash fixes. So lots of fixes there. It took my breath a little bit reading all that. We're not done there, there's still some improvements. Let's just have a look at these True Racks black books. Look at that. They're absolutely brilliant now. This isn't even a diamond, but look at that. That's a really nice gold. But the horns on them now are so nice. Got a really good curve to them. They've definitely done these really nice. And if you don't know this, my first ever diamond for Call of Wild was a black book. It was, it was near this area. So they are sort of like a, a close favorite to me. I uh, spent a lot of time hunting them and as you can see this is how the true racks works the true score evaluation for black books true racks and i must say they look really good so i'm i'm really happy with this drop in the comments what you think of the new update and the new black book true racks let me know what you think of them are you going to be hunting them uh, anytime soon has it made you want to hunt them more now they've got true racks they definitely look a lot better let's go on to improvements in this new update got new left and right stick dead zone settings in system gamepad menu new mouse moving option in the system keyboard mouse menu text chat in multiplayer is now supported for russian japanese and simplified chinese only on pc uh, game and system language need to match there is now a warning if you bind the same key button to multiple actions it's still possible to do it but it will help you avoid this error and gives you a chance to cancel if you made that mistake we added a limit of a maximum five trophy lodges of each type 
This is needed to solve a certain save issue and ensures this won't happen in the future. Your lodges won't be deleted if you're over that limit, but you won't be able to create any more lodges. So there's the improvements. There's the fixes. True Racks Black Books. I want to get a nice one. My dog is nearly level 15 now. Uh, so he's getting up there. And what I found is the bottom um, perks for my bloodhound dog seem to be the best for tracking and um, we're going to go over this in a minute i'm just going to collect this next one <laughs> Bax is here he's like look i've got it i've got it ron it's here you got to keep active with your dogs you've got to tend to the needs pat them play with them it's really important the interaction with them makes them better now you can see on this one, this left one is totally different to the right one. So we're definitely seeing true racks for black books in full effect on this one. It's only a small one, but you can definitely see it working and they're, and they're different to each other, not just symmetrical. Can't wait to get a diamond black book with true racks. I've got quite a few nice black books in my trophy lodges. I've also got some super rare ones, a diamond leucistic one and a diamond melanistic one. I believe it is so it'll be interesting to get a diamond true wax black book when we get one might be today might not be today we're talking about the patch notes let's talk about the main things with this new dlc the bloodhound dlc will be available to download and purchase on march the 30th for 3.99 across all platforms windows pc playstation 4 and xbox one please note this dlc requires the base game of call of the wild when you get your dog, what are you going to call it? Also, what breeds do you want to see next to a Call of Wild? They have said that if this does really well, they may introduce some more different breeds of dogs. Now, some people have been saying Retrievers, um, Labradors, there's loads of different breeds of dogs. I like small and big dogs. I've covered this already in a few videos, but there's so many different dogs and situations you could have dogs work in the game. That's a really nice one. Look at that. That's a four, so I don't know if we'll make a diamond, I doubt it. But that is a very nice one. We're definitely gonna try and get that. Go with some other details to do with the dogs. They max out at level 30, can have up to 25 dogs. The first dog has no cost in game. After that, they cost 45,000. Six different color variations. So there's a lot of variety with these dogs and as you level them up they get better and better my dog's staying right at my side now a lot of the time even when i'm running sprinting so it's definitely getting better as a hunt of it just seeing if there's any bigger black books in this big group i just shown you on the map a minute ago where i'm actually hunting them and it's really good coming about 12 o'clock roam around these areas and you see a lot of them often in this area so it's not a sh it's not a long run but we'll go over and get this black book and it looked really nice i think this is definitely gonna be the biggest one we shot today 123 it's not far off a diamond look 132 for a diamond but look at those horns they are very pretty so yeah these are gonna look really good in the uh, trophy lodges yeah so let me know what you think of this new bloodhound dlc update it's across all platforms at the same time. You've got True Racks Black Books, you've got dogs, you've got bloodhounds. What more could you want? Lots of fixes. The one with the need zones is the ultimate for me. Um, I love whitetail hunting like a lot of you do. So if the whitetails are turning up when they're supposed to be at the drink need zones and the other need zones, that's going to be a big difference for great one hunting. I can't wait to test that out. It's a really good update. I get a dog to uh, play with as well and he's getting really good as well so let's have a look at some of his perks i've got on at the minute i ain't got many on but i'm going to talk about what i was on about to do with the bottom uh, rung of the perk system in this so companion tracker 12 and 6 focus his bonds a little low i need to mess about with him a bit more the traits this is what we was on about right level five you can only pick one of these on each one right so it goes up to 30 but you can only pick one sort of skill out of these two traits now what i've noticed on these traits every five levels is on the bottom they seem to be the best ones from what i've sort of found that seem to suit tracking the very bottom ones the only thing i probably wouldn't pick on the bottom or might change is on level 30 the top one is to warn 
off predators so i want to try that and see how good it is at the minute the dogs will bark at animals so i've had it where i spawned in here on my tent earlier and there's a puma nearby and the dog started barking i didn't even see the puma and then the puma ran off so they do work straight from low level but i'd like to see what the ward off predators is like at level 30. so today we've been looking at the bloodhound dlc the patch notes the updates the fixes and i'm really impressed with what i've seen also obviously black box true racks they look really good i'm on youtube please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channels hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching bye bye